Alright, welcome back to Anton Math. Now, we're still in Unit 2, of Part 6 of our pre-calculus series, and I just wanted to kind of take a little aside and connect what we just talked about with this acronym SOKOTOA back to what we've done with the unit circle so far um, in defining these trig functions, just to see that our definitions carry over in both directions, right? We started the first uh, part of Pre-Calculus 2, Part 5, focused on trigonometric functions of real numbers, and in part six, we're focusing on trigonometric functions defined by angles. And I just wanted to connect that a little bit um, so we could see that they're, they're really the same thing in a certain sense. So first, let me just draw a little angle here in unit one. All right, we know that we can do everything in unit one and the rest carries over, or sorry, <laughs> unit one, uh, quadrant one. We can do everything that we need to in quadrant one and the rest carries over to quadrant two, three, and four with, with reference numbers and reference angles. So let's say I'm here in quadrant one and I have this angle theta. Right Now we know that on the unit circle, if I have an angle of theta radians in the interior of the circle, that um, subtends an arc of length theta units on the outside, doesn't it? Theta units. It's going to be this arc out here. Or in other words, um, my t, my real number t, is going to be equal to theta. It won't be in radians, but you know, coming back to our reference numbers. Now I just want to use SOKOTOA here uh, to define my sine and cosine of this theta. And the way that we're going to do that with SOKOTOA is that we need a right triangle, don't we? So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring this line down from this point on my unit circle straight down to the x-axis right here. All right, now we see that that forms a right angle between this line of this triangle and the x-axis. Now if this point up here is my terminal point P, X, Y, determined by either my real number t or my radian angle theta. We see that it's the same point determined by both, right? And the measurement is the same even though it's in different units. I have that this side of my triangle is going to be equal to x, whatever the x of my terminal point is, right? I've come straight down from there. And up here, we see that this is equal to y, so this, the whole length of this side of my triangle is going to be equal to y. So let's go ahead and define our um, define our sine, cosine, and tangent. Just based on this, we see that from SOKOTOA, my sine of theta, theta the real number, right, on the outside, my uh, real number theta, by SOKOTOA in correspondence to my angle theta, that's equal to my opposite over my hypotenuse. Now, I didn't do this part yet. We're on my unit circle, so of course this hypotenuse has a measurement of 1, doesn't it? So sine's going to be equal to my opposite side over my hypotenuse, which is y over 1, or in other words, y. Cosine, this is going to be equal to the adjacent side of my right triangle over my hypotenuse, or in other words, x over 1, or just x, and tangent, oh, leaving out my thetas again, tangent of theta, this is going to be equal to my opposite side over my adjacent side. So in other words, y over x, and no simplification necessary here. Now if you go back to our real number section when we define these trigonometric functions, these are the exact definitions that we gave based on the real number around the circle. And we can see that sine of theta, in other words, let's say that um, this theta was pi over 4, so sine of pi over 4 radians is the same as sine of pi over 4 real number, right? So we have this correspondence between radians and real numbers that flows, uh, we flow very easily from part 5 here into part 6. Okay, so that's it for this um, video. I really just wanted to make this correspondence so we can see um, how what we did in part 5 is going to work here with these right triangles. And keep in mind that even though we're not going to be working with right triangles that have a hypotenuse of 1, we know that because of the similarity of these triangles, let's say my angle over here was A, any triangle that's a right triangle that has an angle theta, the other angle has to be A. And because of the properties of similar triangles, um, this, these ratios opposite over hypotenuse, that's going to be the same value no matter how big or small I stretch this triangle, right? So this unit circle and these right triangle definitions have this um, very direct correspondence, don't they? Okay. 
Um, now in the next video we're going to talk about some special triangles and specifically this, this next video, these special triangles, they're going to help us with our common reference numbers or our common angle values um, when we, you know, we can't think of what, you know, sine of pi over 6, for example, might be, we can use these special triangles to very quickly figure out using SOHCAHTOA what sine of pi over 6 or pi over 4 or pi over 3 is. And we'll see you there.